Hey, how's it going? It's Carl, aka Carl Trump Tech. I'm here right now in. Well, I don't know where I am. <laughs> going is Carl aka Carl Trump Tech. I'm here right now in Singapore and I am absolutely thrilled to be here today. It is my first time out of the country ever since I left my homeland of the Philippines to come to the United States. So I am so excited to be here to be in a foreign land but in some ways you know not much is different. You know it's just another city center. I'm here at Orchard. It's a big shopping center area. I guess there's a lot of people who come here and shop and they take uh, their holidays very seriously over here. But what I wanted to talk about today is a situation where I was doing a drum video for Instagram and a random gentleman came up to me and asked me what I was doing. I wish the camera was rolling when we were having that conversation because what he told me was he wants to learn music but he doesn't know how to you know play music. He doesn't know how to play an instrument but he wants to learn. But what he asked me was very interesting. He asked me are people more musically more musically inclined than others? Meaning some people have music and rhythm in them and some people don't and they just can't get it. And what I told him was, was, I absolutely disagree with your statement. I truly believe that everybody has the potential to learn music and to play music. And, you know, and I think that's, in some ways it can be a very common belief, like you either have it in you or you don't. You either can play basketball or you can't. You either, I mean, with anything else, whether you're musically talented, whether, whether you're naturally talented or whether you're the rest of us who have to take the time to learn something, you know, it's like you have to understand that everybody has the capability to do anything. Now, it depends on how, there's, there's only so much you can go in terms of your potential, but for the most part, if you put in the work, you can get pretty far compared to if you just say, well, I'm not naturally ta talented, I can't do this, blah, right? So you have to make, you have to understand that, for, first of all, if you're musically inclined, you know, and I'm sure you guys have met people like that, right? It's like musically inclined people who are very naturally talented, who can get things really fast, right? I'm sure you can think of people in your drum line, think of people in your marching band, think of people in your music classes. They just get things faster, right? They just, you play a rhythm for them, you play a melody for them, and they just right away, they can play it, and they can play it back for you, and they get it, and they understand it, and they can play it with perfect, like they understand the beat perfectly. For the rest of us, including me, I am not as naturally talented as those individuals. So I have to take in the time, put in the time and the practice and the effort in order to get to a certain level. Whatever skills I achieve, I have to get that through hard work, through experience, through hours and hours of practice, hours and hours of repeti repeti repetition, hours and hours of teaching people to, tr to, to try to help me understand it. And that is where I get my skill today. It's not some natural talent. It's not some God-given gift. You know, I had to earn that myself. Now, for some other people, it is a God-given gift and they just get it naturally. And everybody has a natural talent towards something where they just get it really quick. And maybe those individuals, like, it, it, I don't know, it's, you can't really explain it, but they just get it quicker than most of us. So what I'm trying to say is, if you're not naturally talented, which most people aren't, and I experienced this in my private lessons where I have to teach, I have to break down rhythm. I have to break down how to, how, they, how to understand where your feet and your hands and your feet and your hands go together for the beat. And they don't get it unless I take it really slow. Guess what? I was like that too. So they're all in that camp with me. But in my experience, most people are like that. So if you're not one of those naturally talented people, you know, when you get something is when you get something. If it takes you a long time to get it, it takes you a long time to get it. You just, you just have to understand that you have to put in the time, you have to put in the work, don't get discouraged, and keep practicing, all right? So, bottom line is, there's no such thing as, well, there's some people who can't do music. I truly believe that everybody can do music. So, if you're watching this video, and you can't play a musical instrument, and you just think, well, I can't learn. I believe that everybody has the capacity to learn rhythm, to learn timing, to learn about the beat and play music. It, it really, de sometimes it depends what your natural tendencies are in order to get to a certain potential, but otherwise we all have music and rhythm and timing within us. If we can enjoy some pop music, if we can enjoy some kind of instrument that somebody's playing on the street, and we can kind of sing along, and we can kind of tap our feet, 
I mean, most of you guys do this all the time. You guys are sitting in the car on the radio and I see you guys on the road singing and da da da. And it's like, you understand when to sing a note. You understand when to sing a lyric. That's rhythm, that's timing. We all naturally have that. Whether you do it really well or not is a completely different thing. But if you can't do it well, it can be trained. It can be developed just like anything else. So don't let that aspect discourage you. Whether there's people who are naturally talented and the rest of us who have to put in the work, who have to put in the time, who have to put in the dedication in order to get a certain skill, all right? So that's all I want to talk about today. Thank you guys so much if you've been watching. And uh, as always, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment below. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and share this video with people who are like, I don't know, man, like I, I can't play music because I'm not naturally talented. I'm not naturally musically gifted and I don't have rhythm in me. Like not everybody has rhythm. Shut up, all right? <laughs> Seriously, everybody can develop the skill. Everybody can get the, you, you know, just basically the musical ability in order to play an instrument. You just have to put in the time and you have to put in the effort. All right, cool. Peace out. I'll see you guys next time. Signing off from Singapore and peace out. Hey, what's up guys? We're here right now in the hotel room in Singapore. Pretty cool view, right? So let's do a quick application slash breakdown of learning where the beat is when you play something, especially if you're not very naturally talented in terms of understanding where the beat is. I know I'm not naturally talented. I didn't understand it just by hearing it or just by feeling it. I had to literally break it down for myself and we're gonna do that right now. So let's just take a quick basic accent tap exercise called Bucks. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna accent on the downbeats, accent on the upbeats, the and counts, and we're gonna take groupings of, or a combination of both in groupings of three, right? So we're gonna take a metronome, and the key is making sure that every single time you hear that beat, right, that click, you need to be exactly on point, right on top of the beat when you play the downbeat, all right? So here we go. And then if you hear any inconsistencies in your playing, I know I did, definitely that's something to work on in terms of understanding you know, where the beat is and being perfect with it, and then you'll start to feel music a lot better when you know where that click, where that beat is supposed to be.